Okay, happy Friday. Damn, it's already fucking Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. I just got the secured box, which will open my fifth Beastbook post box. So, kind of small uh, of a box, honestly. But, let's see what's in it. I mean, I didn't expect a full-size box given what's in it, but hey. So, uh, this is just the overview. It's got like a little mul pocket multi-tool, I'll call it. Uh, these are like pocket notes, wallet or something, and RFD, RFID card blocker. So just a quick little one. Here's all the amazing things that the pocket tool does. I really don't know what a ferro rod does, but that's cool. Okay, so we got the pocket tool. Um, a little bit of a wallet. I know it's supposed to be like an actual wallet, but it's like, eh, kind of looks weird. If I detag on back, um, these are dot pads. Can't really see it, it's really bright. So, I mean, it's something digital security means real world readiness. Not really gonna read that off, I'm being completely honest. So, a little multi tool. I don't know what a ferro rod is, but whatever. So, it's a sundial, rope tensioner, finger pulls, pry bar, tent peg puller, can opener, ferro rod. Uh, inch ruler, metric ruler, rope cutter, saw, ferro rod striker, and a bottle opener. So it's kind of cool or something. Flux card open, card holder. Uh, waterproof card holder's name. Just securely stain whatever pocket you got in. Even during a sprint session at the local track, and even if a pickpocket tries to slip their hand in your stuff. It's made from TPU coated polyester with a soft, super grippy design that can hold up to eight cards in separate slots. And of course the RFID blocker and the dot pad. It's got 80 pages, which ain't bad in my opinion. Um, I didn't get anything to enhance the box this time. Something like this kind of would have been cool, but I got, I got a knife. Eh, this would have been really cool in my opinion. And the coin capsule. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to open it up and take a look at what's inside. And we'll just see how things do. My cat's being super annoying because she wants all the attention in the world, but hey, that's a cat. Do, do, do. Oh, it came upside down. I thought it was. Do, do, do. What's in your secured box? Flux card holder. Uh, RFID block and yeah. And then it lists then it lists everything there we go then it lists everything that it does and what's in the box so I like that we'll enjoy Doo -doo -doo. Uh, RFID blocker that's actually really thin I'm actually impressed I sound like a little asshole really cool pancake you need to go mama's uh, it does have a QR code on back that I can't not scan pancake is just losing her mind for no reason literally no reason she's losing her mind the card holder Ooh, it actually does feel Pretty grippy. Um, seems like it's got space for three cards. Dot pad is actually kind of thick. I don't know. I don't know if this would fit in my pocket. Yeah, I mean that's kind of a deal. So this is more of a free write dot pad. Um, hold on a second. So I kind of like it. I guess it's kind of, it's not really what I expected, but it's not bad at the same time. Um, so one improvement just off the bat, I would say include a little pocket pen with this. Uh, that way me as the customer, I feel like I'm getting more for my buck, for my $50. Um, and I can actually use it. You know what I mean? That's what I would do. A little cool little, doo -doo -doo. damn. Um, cool little pen would be nice. 
Keeping curve on tattoo. See, I don't know if the ferro rod does still, but well, I guess we'll figure it out. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't in this in this, but it should have been. So this is actually a good size. I guess this is a pocket tool. It's a little bit bigger than I expected. Uh, pretty cool so far, I'd say. Sundial. I forgot how to use a sundial. Ferro rod. I have no clue what a ferro rod does. I'll Google it right now. But I kind of like it. It's got some weight to it. Um, I don't know if I would ever use this to honestly pry anything like it says, but it's definitely a rope tensioner. Uh, sundial. Metric. It's got like two inches on the side. Ferro rod. <laughs> Whatever the hell that is. Oh, hey, instruction manual. What are the chances? So... TSA compliant, non-scratch, lightweight, ergonomic. So, remove the ferro. Oh, it's to make a fire. Oh, that's actually really useful then. See, something like that. That's really useful. I'll bring that with me during an army weekend. Uh, rope cutter, of course. Can opener. So rope cutter portion and saw right here. Uh, apparently, you strike. Use that. I'm gonna have to Google how to use this, cause this, take it out, press it against it, and it'll spark. It's not really showing me how. Okay. I gotta work on that one. Uh, okay. So anyway, rope cutter. Little saw. Pen, oh, tent peg puller. Hold it like this. Put it around one of the edges. Flathead screwdriver. Sorry. Flathead screwdriver. Can opener, apparently. Bottle opener. Rope tensioner. Okay. I think I looked up what a ferro rod does last time. So that ferro rod part I'm about to work on, being completely honest. But it's kind of cool. I like it. Um, yeah. No, solid. Uh, so far, first impression. Solid 6 out of six out of 10, I'd say. It's not the most useful so far. It's not the most useful tool. But, uh... I don't know how to. I don't know how to do this really. Um, but it's it's cool. It's a nice little something. Big complaint here is include a pen. So, yeah, that's the secured box. Secured box. I think it was secured box. Put it in there. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the wallet now. Hmm. Okay. Okay, but anyway, so it's cool little something. Um, I don't think I would really get this one again. Um, yeah, doesn't really seem worth it. Um, solid 6 out of 10. But it's a nice little tool. Nice little something. That's my box of the month. I'm probably not going to do one next month. We'll see. Um, but hey, that's about it. So have a good one, everyone.